Sure, there are multiple ways using your phone to back up your photos to the cloud automatically. But in today's video, let's talk about Plex's option for camera upload and automatically syncing your photos from your phone to your Plex Media server. What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits. And in today's video, I wanna show a quick and dirty, easy way to set up your phone to automatically upload your photos and your videos to your Plex media server. Now Plex makes this extremely easy to do. So to jump right in, the first thing you need to do is to create a photo library on your Plex media server. If you don't do this and you try to go into photos on the Plex app on your phone, you will see an error saying that you need to create a library. They even show you a nice elephant family and a quick help tutorial on how to do so. So from your Plex interface, go in and create a new photo library. Of course, you're going to have to assign a storage location for these new files, just like you would any creation of any new library. And then from the Plex app on your phone, click on your user icon in the top right of the app. From here, you should see an option for camera upload. Depending on your setup, it might ask you to select what server you want to upload your photos to. And then it will ask you for what library you want to use. Of course, I'm using the test photo library that I just created on my Plex Media server. Then I'll click next. I'll create my new album within this library. Click next again, and then I'll disable the option for using my cloud photos, because I don't use that anyways. And then I will also disable the option for using cellular data. And then once I got everything configured, in order to start it, all you have to do is click the little switch at the top that says camera upload. Just to give you a little bit of forewarning, if you do have a lot of photos and videos, this could take some time. I think it took me about an hour and a half to upload roughly about 222 different files. Of course, this was a mixture of photos and videos. I can't tell you the size of it, but it was definitely big enough to take a long time. In fact, I recorded the entire upload and you can see that it even drained my battery a little bit, mainly because I kept the screen on and well, it was working <laughs> to be expected. However, while it is doing this, you can go in and see the photos that have been uploaded already. Your Plex Media Server will process and file those. You can go in and watch videos directly from the screen or even look at the pictures individually. You can do it, try it. <laughs> and it even gives you a couple different options of viewing them. The first one I actually kind of like the best, it's the tile layout where it has all of your photos and just tiles. You can kind of scroll through and, and get a preview of what you have uploaded to the server. Of course, being able to click on each one individually if you want to see it bigger. And the second one is more of a timeline view showing you of what years you took those photos or videos so you can kind of scroll through your history if you want to. So personally, I think this is kind of a neat way to you know file your photos to be able to see them anytime you want to or have them safe on your Plex Media server. But the one thing I want to note here is that you probably want to protect yourself just a little bit if you are sharing your libraries with friends or family members. And what I mean by that is that if you are sharing with friends or family members, you have a couple different options. You can either share individual libraries that you might have, like let's say you just want to share movies but not your TV shows. You can always select that if you want to, but Plex also gives you an option to share all of your libraries. So just keep that in mind if you are uploading all of your camera photos and videos to your Plex media server and you have that checkbox selected, then anybody that you're sharing all of your libraries with can now view all of your personal photos and videos. Now, of course, to each their own, whether or not they want their friends and family members to see every picture or video they took with their phone. But either way, I wanted to mention it just to make sure you, uh, you don't accidentally share those private videos with your grandmother. But that's it for today, guys. I think this is a great way to upload and keep all of your photos and videos safe automatically. Every time you start Plex, it will just automatically start uploading anything new that you took with your camera phone. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Thank you for watching and have yourself a good day.